to run what I I, I want to run what uh, I don't know if you saw what Ryan Pohl said about Jalen Carter on Chicago radio, Jeff. I thought it was interesting uh, because I thought he told the truth and it was basically I, 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 I pulled up the quote. So I want to read it to you guys, get both your thoughts. I, I will say that our culture is important. And this is Ryan Poles. I'll say that we know where our roster is right now and what it can handle, what it can handle. I think that's part of being intelligent in this space is knowing your locker room and where it's at. I'm happy we made the decision that we made specifically on Jalen. I think he went to a fantastic place that has their cement dry in their foundation. A lot, a lot of Eagles fans took this as an affront. I thought he was complimenting. It's a compliment. Yeah, yeah it's, a, yeah. it's a compliment. That's a, yeah. that's a stone yeah. cold compliment yeah. to the Eagles. Yeah. In, in fact, this is a, I thought <clears throat> just based on you reading that. So what I'm getting from Ryan Poles is we're not, we are not in that position to draft a player. Yeah, like we're Jay not Lincoln. strong enough to take a potential issue on. Yeah, I, but the I, which Eagles is are a compliment. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a compliment to the Eagles and what they're doing. It's I think that's why a lot of people love the Eagles doing what they did and getting Jalen Carter because he was their locker room is built for that. I mean, you're seeing that. I just talked to uh, Kaylee Ringo over the weekend, and I, I can't believe how mature this guy is yeah, and what, he's what not, he's been through. Yeah. So I mean, Nolan Smith too. All this, you know, except for Jalen. <laughs> all the Georgia guys are like. Um, unbelievable. Um, it's a Crazy. testament to Kirby Smart, uh, Nicobe Dean, Jordan Davis as well. Uh, Jalen, you know, Jalen Carter, I'm talking about, by the way, not Jalen Hurts. Um, Jalen Carter, I think there's some maturity issues. I think that's fair to say, but he's 22 years old. He's, a, he's in the right situation, too. He's with his guys, like guys he trusts. And it's going to make life for him in the NFL easier. That's why I, I love the Nolan Smith. They were able to get him and Kelly Ringo. And, you know, he already knows Jordan Davis. He knows the Kobe Dean. I mean, I think he's going to be fine here. I, I really do. There's there's going to be obviously stories that come out just based on what happened in January. But that's like yeah. the NFL. Well, he's already got civil suits. And, you know, it's, it's not going away anytime soon. But I think the Eagles are strong enough to handle it. And – other teams, like if I'm Chicago and I have the number one overall pick and none of this happens, um, I'm taking Jalen Carter at number one. Um, and then they get on the back end, they trade down because they decide they want to keep their quarterback. So they don't want a quarterback. That, that makes sense. Then they get another shot at him because they could have taken the kid at, at nine. That's what I thought they were going to do. I'm like, well, we just traded down from one to nine. We probably would have taken them at one. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I was kind of surprised they they kind of let the Eagles trade up one spot to get them. But, hey, they, they had their plans. And, you know, Ryan Poles, it's an honest answer. It's not an insult that Jalen Carter and the Eagles are anybody. Yeah, I thought it was very honest. They, they Here's were not in a position concerns. to take him. Here's one of my concerns about Jalen Carter. And again, I'm going apples and oranges, and I'm dragging the NBA back into it. So I apologize in advance. John Morant was the second pick in the draft, and the Memphis Grizzlies thought they got a generational talent that they did. Uh, was going to lift they the did. organization. Yeah. They did get one, and it did. They did, and they got uh, tremendous immediate success because of it. Now the kid's NBA career sits in the balance because not only did he make a mistake, he doubled down on the mistake after coming out and said, "I've learned my lesson," and uh, man, I take all responsibilities, and he does the same exact thing well, the, again. Did the Grizzlies ban the guy he had the Instagram post with from their games because he shot a laser pointer at someone? They on didn't. The base in, they didn't ban him from his car where they shot the second Instagram post. So you can only do so much if you're the team. It comes back to the young man himself, and John Moran proved that he doesn't want to exercise the problems that he has in his life. We don't know if Jalen Carter will do that or not. We certainly believe yeah. that's a case. We hope that's a case. We believe that the very good Eagle locker room with veteran leaders will try and guide him in that direction. I'm sure the Memphis Grizzlies had people that they thought were helping guide John Morant too. 
and now they're going to be without his services for however many long. But I also uh, think the Eagles get the benefit of the doubt here because of the culture they've installed, and that's where the Ryan Poles comments come in. They can, we believe they can handle this. They believe they can handle this. They they told you this, John McMullen. They told me this. They they told us all this. Like they're willing to take this on, and you got to Jody's point. To Jody's point, they might be wrong, and it, it might be. not work out because you know it. It really is ultimately up to the person because you can't follow and keep tabs on somebody twenty four seven. That's what you're talking um, about, especially from June to what late yeah. July. Those six yeah. weeks are crucial. So ultimately, I'm not saying it couldn't go wrong. It could go wrong, but my my overriding point in the Jalen Carter situation, and there's a there's a lot of teams that don't feel comfortable taking on that challenge, the Eagles do. And if it works, it could be a home run. Um, and other teams just can't do that. They can't take the swing. If you don't get in the batter's box to take the swing, you can't hit the home run. And there's certain teams that can't even get in the batter's box. What was and the I think big that's daddy, a, a big advantage to the Eagles. What was the big daddy Graham slogan, Jody Mack, can't win if you don't play? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Big Dad used to say that yeah. all the time, which, as John just said, you give the Eagles credit because they're always looking for a game. <laughs> they're ready to take some chances like Now, if it works, it works. Great. That's a major advantage for the Eagles. But if the young man blows up, then we're going to go, yeah, you took too many swings early. You should have taken a couple pitches before you got back in and swung for the fences. Jalen Carter's a swing for the fence, and it's either going to be a three-run homer or it's going to be an uh, easy out because he's not capable of getting on the field. All right, Jeff, we haven't talked.